Hello, uh, my name is uh, Sean Anthony Robinson, uh, also known as Dr. Dyslexia Dude or Dr. Robinson. I'm here today with our first ever Dr. Dyslexia Dude mascot. How did Dr. Dyslexia Dude come about or inspiration behind the character? Well, I have dyslexia and my wife and I want to make sure that young kids particularly uh, black and brown boys were able to see themselves reflected in literature and books, um, to see themselves as being empowered, engaged with reading. We wanted to give people hope. So ideally, uh, based on my own lived experiences, we wanted to make sure that uh, kids saw themselves in books and it was accessible. And so that's the reason why we, we made it. And why is it important in reference to culture responsive uh, representation? Well, um, we know that, again, black uh, boys are underrepresented in literature. Is there anything that's culturally responsive that could bring uh, power to oneself, to allow them to see themselves as being capable within the context of a superhero? Again, that brings energy and life. That's what we want to do. We want to make sure that young kids can, can see themselves as being successful. 10 plus years from now, what impact do you think this will have? Well, right now, you know, for the young uh, men and women that read our books, boys, they're inspired by it. My two boys are inspired by it. I think that we're building a legacy that's gonna be here for generations to come. And I think that it's gonna have a lasting impact, not just in the academy, but I think outside in the, in the community in terms of service and getting out there and making an impact in reference in terms of literacy and engagement. What would I tell my younger self Having dyslexia, I think is a representation of the mascot. Love yourself. You love yourself? Smile, be energetic, take risks, take chances. You know, don't, don't be fearful of trying new things, right? Yes, if you show what reading, ask for help. You ask for help? See? You think kids should ask, should ask for help? See? Be creative, be innovative. Tap into your talents, right? Again, if you don't know, ask somebody. Raise your hand. Ask for help. So again, looking back at my younger self, I think I would try these things. Don't be fearful, don't be scared, right? Even develop a mascot, you know, you don't know how it's gonna work, but you gotta take chances. You know, you gotta take something that's gonna inspire your next generation of people. What's next to come with Dr. Such a Dude series? My wife and I are writing a fourth book now. Uh, we have a uh, coloring book that's out. So we're just trying to, again, put stuff out there that's culturally responsive, authentic, relevant, and brings life to not just students with dyslexia, but young black boys who can see themselves as being successful within the context of special ed and literacy. What are some solutions they would say that we're, we're bringing to bridge the gap between equity and education? Again, representation, you know, empowerment. You know, we wanna make sure kids, again, who might be reluctant to read, Pick up a book and read. Just try it. Have access. You know, don't be fearful of picking up a, a thicker book to read, right? Take your chances, right? Again, reading is fundamental. Reading is empowerment. Reading is liberation. We want young kids to understand that if you can read, the world's at your fingertips. And if you struggle with it, that's okay. It's okay. Ask for help. Don't avoid it. Don't let your pride get in the way either. You think pride should get in the way? No, no pride. So again, you know, we just want to make sure that as students have access to content that's relevant. We have a lot of events coming up throughout the month of February. And just, again, we want to give kids hope um, within the context of uh, education, special education, and um, dyslexia. Follow us. Doctor, there's such a dude at Instagram. If you have any questions, comments, reach out to me. I'd love to uh, answer your questions.